Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, wherever it is, to go ahead and be part of the fam. I would love to have you. And today I'm gonna be sharing a brand new foundation and brand new concealer that just launched out there. I figured I'd combine both of them together. They're both from the drugstore. The foundation I'm gonna be sharing today is the new Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation, which I am super pumped about. And then we have the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I'll share them both, I'll give you my thoughts on all of it. So it's gonna be a full like review and first impression for you guys. I'll have both these products listed below and right now we're gonna get into like a little backstory of both of them. So the foundation right here is going to retail for about $10.99. So $11, give or take a few dollars here and there depending on where you're picking it up from. I know CVS and Walgreens are like super expensive. Like they're like in a $12 range and maybe even Ulta, but you can also get it online and even at Walmart for like 10 something. So pretty inexpensive, not crazy. It is in a glass bottle like so, and they do have 20 different shades to choose from. So the only downside with this one so far that I'm noticing is the shade range. I don't love the fact that there's 20 shades. I wish it was more inclusive for everyone. I did pick up the shade 75 Natural Beige. Not sure if it's going to match me, but we will see. And like I said, this one is going to be a hydrating finish or hydrating foundation. So it does have hyaluronic acid in here and collagen, which both those ingredients, I mean, kind of live for. Kind of love the fact that it has hyaluronic acid in it to go ahead and help the skin look hydrating and look its best throughout the day. I do a lot of foundation reviews here on my channel. I just absolutely love doing them. Love testing out new ones and seeing what's good for my skin. Also, you know, shade range, all that. I like to review it for you guys as well. A little background on my skin type is combo to normal. And I don't really get oily throughout the day, honestly. The only time I ever do is like right here. So as far as the NYX Born to Glow Concealer, I picked mine up from Ulta and I will have the price below. I wanna say it was about $7. I saw this and I instantly was drawn to it. I love the foundation form of this concealer. It is actually one of my favorites as far as looking natural and just like your skin but better type of foundation. So if this concealer can cover up the under eyes but not look drying and like cakey, then I'm for it. I did pick mine up in the shade Soft Beige. So I'm hoping this one matches me as well. We're gonna get into that once I get to concealer. So we're gonna jump right into the foundation now. I love the like color tone that they went for with like this color cap. This one, you do get one fluid ounce. So pretty much your standard foundation amount you will get in this foundation. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand first, pump it on. Just gonna go ahead and dot it everywhere. So it does look pretty dark. Um, but I think it may work once I put my concealer on. I've always like toned it down with concealer because my concealer is a little bit lighter. So it always kind of changes the foundation shade. So I don't really stress too much as soon as I put it on. It is blending to my neck pretty well. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep on further blending it down. I mean, you do kind of see the glow and like radiance right away as soon as you do apply, which is pretty nice. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like so in your face, dewy, glowy and like, very radiant, but it does have a little bit of a hint of it. As far as coverage goes, um, right over here, I don't really see it covering too, too much. Maybe it's the shade that I picked up where it like looks a little funky, but we're gonna keep on blending it out and hope for the best. I do prefer to blend my foundations in with the beauty sponge. I think it just has the best like coverage, complexion, looks the most natural, I think. If you were to use a brush, you may get a little bit more payoff right away. Um, one thing I noticed though with these e.l.f. sponges is that they don't soak up too much product. So I feel like I'm not soaking up a lot of product. I just feel like I may have to go in with a little bit more product of the foundation. Like right off the bat, it doesn't seem like it's super full coverage or anything. And I'm not sure if it even claimed to be that. I have to double check, but I'm just gonna blend this all over my skin. I mean, it does look pretty flawless though as I'm blending. Like it definitely is covering. It's not super sheer. Um, it just is not like super full coverage. Let me see what the coverage is supposed to be. Claims on here says it gives up to 12 hours continuous hydration. We'll love that. Visibly improves the look of skin, medium coverage with a radiant finish, doesn't clog pores, it's dermatologist tested as well. So that's a plus. It does have the claim of being a medium coverage. So it doesn't really say full and it also says that it's going to have a radiant finish. So we're gonna see like I said, I'm just gonna keep on blending. I may have to go in with a little bit more. I did use up all of the product that was on my hand. So I'm just gonna continue to blend and I'm going to add a little bit more to finish up the forehead area. As it's on the back of my hand and as I'm using it, 
it doesn't seem like it's drying and sinking into my skin, which is a plus. It kind of just feels like a moisturizer. Like, I don't want to say that so heavily because it's not a moisturizer and it's not claiming to be like a BB cream or anything, but it does have like that sheer almost, yeah, radiance finish where it's not drying and sinking into the skin and like drying up or anything. So that's great. So I'm just gonna continue to blend. It's not really covering up the blemishes though. I do have like a blemish right here and right here. It's not really covering that up so much. Um, Not all of my foundations do that anyway, but it's not really giving too much coverage in those areas. I feel like I'm going in with a lot more pumps and a lot more foundation to complete the skin. So once I've done that, I feel like I've built it up, but I also feel like it's not building up to the way I would like it to be. Kind of sliding, I don't know. And like around this area, I'm not too fond of the way it's looking. That just maybe because of the color I picked up, but I'm not really digging the way that looks. I don't know. And I feel like it's just like kind of wiping away on my blemish, whereas if I were to use another foundation, it kind of will go over it, but I will use a concealer to, you know, lock it in place, but it's not really covering that. I don't know. I wanted to love this. So to me, it does look pretty natural. It does have a little bit of a radiance finish to it, but nothing over the top. I really thought it was gonna be a lot more radiant. It doesn't really cover up too much of my blemishes. I don't have a ton, but I don't think that it should be still this visible with the amount of foundation I did go in with. So that's a little bit of a bummer to me personally. Foundations that I typically go in with is more of a natural finish to a dewy finish. And that's just something I like. I hardly ever use matte. So for it to like not be 100% with me right now is kind of depressing just because I do love that type of finish and I know what I'm like looking for when I'm applying that and I don't really see it happening too too much with this but we're gonna just leave it be right now that's how I'm feeling about it at this very moment who knows once I put on the full face it may change so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the concealer now which would be the NYX Born to Glow packaging on the NYX Born to Glow concealer and this is what the applicator looks like. I was really intrigued by the applicator. It has like a little soft velvety tip right there. You go ahead and squeeze the tube and it will release and go into there, like so. So that's what the concealer looks like. I'm going to go ahead and apply it directly underneath my eyes. Hopefully this is an okay shade. So I just kind of put a little bit dotted on and I did go ahead and blend it down just a tad with this applicator. I'm not going to go ahead and apply it fully with this applicator. I'm just going to go ahead and dot it on. I think that's the main way they want you to apply it. I wouldn't really recommend to like blend this out with this, but that's just a personal preference. I feel like it could be a little harsh if you were to do so. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more. As I'm blending like this, I'm pushing a little bit more product out. A little bit on the sides of my nose it's really easy to actually put it if you are like putting it in a precise way because of this little applicator I feel like it kind of just does the work for you if that makes sense to apply it is really soft actually so when I said that it would be like hard physically I didn't mean it like that it's definitely a soft tip and easy to kind of place and drag so I'm going to leave it like so right in these areas and thing lower. I'm actually gonna put a little bit here cause I don't love the way that that foundation kind of turned around my mouth. I don't know why it did that. I'm just gonna put a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out using this sponge. This is also by e.l.f. Ooh. So blending this one away instantly like melts right into the skin, okay. That's really pretty. The consistency of this one definitely reminds me just like their foundation, a little bit less like glowy like, like that foundation definitely is radiant. The next one I'm talking about. Um, and then this one is definitely radiant, but it's not like super crazy or anything. So that's awesome. I'm just gonna go in with that sponge that we used for the foundation and kind of just mesh right here together. Okay. 
Both of these products are on my skin. I absolutely love the way that it's looking right now. But now that I have the concealer on with it, I feel like they are playing really nice together. I'm gonna go in with the products that I typically do a full face with, so I do know if they are good or not. So the concealer is pretty much dried down now. It does feel a little bit still like tacky-like, so I'm gonna go in with powder right now to go ahead and set that. Yeah, I had my opinions in the beginning, but sometimes when you go ahead and apply other products on top, they will kind of shift just a little bit. So who knows by the very end of this, and who knows by the end of the day if it's going to still look the same or you know my opinion may change so i'm gonna go in with the powder right now but i will be right back with the full face on. all right guys so i'm back now with a full face on this is the look that i typically go for on an everyday basis or just my like natural look my final thoughts on how the foundation and the concealer are wearing i honestly love the way that the finished product looks in the beginning it was a little rocky for me i wasn't really loving it and they do have their own little flaws here and there i felt like i had to go in with a lot more product with this one a lot more pumps and i'm not really a fan of like overdoing it like i felt like i was putting a lot but not really getting anywhere so the coverage of it does say it's medium, but I don't really see it being a full, full medium. It was kind of sheer. And then the Born to Glow Concealer from NYX, it honestly gives a really pretty look under there. I did pick up this shade Soft Beige, so I feel like it's like a perfect shade for me because it kind of brightens, but also conceals as well. I'm not the biggest fan of applicators that have a little felt tip like that, but honestly, like I like the way that it was applying, the way it was blending out, and it was kind of convenient to do so. Now over time, will that get a little gross and like me not wanting to use it? I have a feeling yes, but I also was super intrigued to try it out. So I can't really say like, no, don't get it because of that, because I was intrigued for that purpose personally. So um, yeah, I think it's going to be an awesome concealer. Now the amount of product you get in here is 0 0.17 fluid ounces. So I think that's kind of standard. I'm not too sure, but I feel like it's like a little concealer. Like it's kind of tiny. It's like equivalent to like the size of my middle finger. But I think you're saving a little bit more product by using this applicator. So I don't know. I think that it's a pretty good concealer to be honest and it's not that expensive. I really like the way that it looks under my eyes. It looks pretty airbrushed and just like flawless like. So both the products, would I say that you absolutely need them? No, I don't think you absolutely need this foundation. I really wanted to love it so, so much. Although the outcome and like my face right now looks pretty darn good, I think. Um, it's definitely not a radiant foundation in my opinion. Like, you know, they're claiming it to be radiant and they're not claiming it to be super radiant, but I don't really see it like looking glowy. Um, I obviously added highlighter and stuff. I haven't even spritzed my face really. So I don't really know where the whole like radiance comes in. I don't, the whole like hydrating. I think that I have other foundations that are more hydrating. As far as the concealer, would I say that you need it? You definitely should try it. I think it is a really nice concealer and it didn't really do anything weird to my under eyes. Of course I have fine lines there. I feel like everyone does and I don't see it like settling, which is amazing. So I really like it. I like the way that it's looking under my eyes and it's not doing anything funky. So this is what we're looking like right now. So I'll be back in just a little bit to share with you guys what my skin is looking like and how the products are holding up and all of that jazz. All right guys, so it is a little bit later now. It's not too much longer, but honestly, like it is settling into some fine lines, the foundation. The concealer still looks pretty darn good to me. I honestly really like that. So that is a product I would recommend is the Born to Glow Concealer. As far as the foundation, I feel like it's a little bit patchy-like and it's not like my absolute favorite and kind of kills me to say that because I do love all Maybelline foundations, but I just, there's something about it I'm not 100% fond of. Like some of it's kind of wearing away where it's like more patchy-like and it's just not, something that I love about a foundation. Like that's definitely like a flaw about it. Yeah, that is my like thoughts on the foundation. Concealer, we already know I love that and I will continue to use that. That is a definite like good concealer from the drugstore right now. I would recommend that concealer. Yeah, I would pass on the foundation. Unfortunately, it's not terrible, but it's not like something that I would reach for. So I hope you guys do understand. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's all I have for you for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Maybe found it a little bit helpful and, and I will see you guys in my next video.